We want to be careful here. I don't really want my guys getting involved. Wait. Oh, we're on this side. I want all of my guys. I don't really care about the demons following me as much. They can kind of fend for themselves a little bit. But. I don't want the trolls getting into too much danger here. So there's a scary guy over there who throws exploding potions of fiery death. Just gonna do that real fast. Yeah, that's what I figured. Ow, there it is. Okay, good, he's out. There's another guy who also constantly puts you to sleep. Can you tell? Just uh, summon the boys. Okay. Frick you, bud. Frick you. Okay, everybody wait here now. Oh, there's a lot that we gotta go through with this place, because there's a lot of good shit here. I mean, that's exactly identical. So what I think I'm going to do here is I'm just going to dump some of my... Uh, you know what? Actually, hold on. Let's start that over. I'm going to dump some of my less important potions. Or some of the ones that I want to hold on to but don't want on me right now. I'm gonna just going to dump them right there. Keep the aggro potions here because I would like to use them. And we'll start going through everything. I'll kind of pile up stuff that I like right here. What do hazard goggles do? I've not seen these ones. So, plus zero perception. Grant splash immunity to thrown potions. That's pretty dope. And plus ten alchemy skill bonus. Okay. So, the, the plus zero perception means that if you get a blessing or a curse, it will affect your perception. So, it can provide a bonus to your perception over time. Now, what we need to look at is the wizard doublets, predominantly. Because while our healer's doublet is, has been good for us thus far, our int is at 53 with all of our bonuses. It would be at 52 if we just ditched that. But more importantly, wizard doublets also provide a base of, zero, of uh, plus one intelligence. So when this one is blessed, it provides us with two. So we're back up to 54, which is pretty dope. But I think there might be some better ones around here somewhere. This area is one of my favorite areas because it has so much cool shit for wizards and I always play as a mage. So you get a bunch of stuff like this, you get all this cool, I mean, a uh, fez, come on now. But you get all this cool, like, uh, blessed he uh, healer and wizard doublets and stuff. The only other place you can really get this sort of thing is in the hamlet, which, while cool, is, uh... Hold up. Do I need to remove the curse on anything? I'm going to put the remove curse scroll right here. These three I will probably turn into enchant weapon scrolls like this. Shut up. So uh, if you look at a scroll, you can see where underneath... Underneath where it says blesses, you can see it says labeled, and it's Fubi Bletch, right? So that's the name that shows up in the uh, the inventory screen for the feather. Shut up. And uh, that means that we can we can scroll. In fact, I'll just show you real quick, I guess. Uh, no, I don't want to yet because we might find a better one. But if you look for Fubi Bletch, you can then just make a bunch of enchant weapon scrolls, which would be really good when we get sure. The only reason I'm holding off on it, and the reason why I didn't show you right there, is because there's a chance we'll get enchant armor scrolls in here somewhere. That's really good. Actually. But it's crystal, so it's probably fragile. That doesn't say fragile, though. Eh, not gonna worry about it. Um, but if we... Stop. Stop. 
if we find a bunch of uh, enchant armor scrolls, I think I would prefer that. Could you, like, run in a straight line, dickhead? Thank you. Because then I could put a bunch of enchant armor scrolls on here, and that would boost my intelligence and my armor class. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. This area is so toxic. Okay, so this is a great example. We, what I was saying earlier, where we have this one, but this one is better. So that's why it's worth checking everything in this area, even if you're not a wizard. Some of the shit in here is really good. Especially including these potions. Which are piling up over there for later. I'll deal with this later, too. Alright, hang over. Real fast. Come lap. Toss myself a heal as well, just to be safe. Oh, this guy's already shown up. Okay, so more scrolls. Scrolls are always good. Contra arrow is worthless. Destroy armor and mail are both worth worthless for us. But see, we got enchant armor. That's what we were holding out for. So I'll show you how that works in just a moment here. The orb is what we're, you know, long-term here for. Definitely not here for the gems or the ring of slow digestion. Nope. But everything else is also good. I mean, there's extra healing. If we didn't have that, that would be really crazy cool. Scroll of Summon is nice. Friendly Rats, okay. That's about the worst option you can get, but, I mean, it's bodies. Bodies for the body throne, right? Uh, let's see here. We got a worn pickaxe. Bat. So there's two secret areas here as well. I don't know why I even picked that up. Might as well just finish the job. I keep forgetting I have levitation powers. Ah, good. Spell books. Okay, lightning is cool. Opening we have. Flutter we have. Alright, nothing too crazy. I think that's all the secret areas here. Pretty sure. I was about to say, there's a few more people. Or at least one more. Okay, that's another plus two. Shut up. That. Don't care about either of those things. Oh. Is that hat any good? No. It's hard for the any of the special hats to compete with uh, the legendary artifact one. Okay, spray acid, cool. Invisibility, cool. I've never really found much use for invisibility on most uh, characters outside of playing like specifically in a cursed. we're immediately going to use on this. Because um, that just makes sense. Scroll of Summon. Oh. Two slimes. Nice. And uh, what was this one? Magic mapping? Not really worth it. I'll get rid of this one. I'll hold on to that one. I'm just keeping it because I'm worried that the serviceable and worn ones might be like about to break. I'm not sure. Of course, that one came to attack us. And we finished that one. And kabonk, kabonk. Owned. So. Um, let's start this out by tossing this shit on the ground. And focusing on the scrolls. So what we're going to do is we're going to look here. We've got Enchant Armor, we've got Yum Yum, and we've got Fooby Blench. So I think what we're going to focus on is maxing out our helmet. I really feel like that's the way to go. So we want Yum Yum. So you can see here, each one has its own name, and they all have question marks because I haven't used any of these yet. 
every run is different and randomized between what the names will be. So in this run, Yum Yum is Enchant Armor. So we'll do... Um, yeah, we'll just do all three of them. That's fine. You could also use the uh, Feather to repair books and such, but I mean, like, yeah, I'm not going to bother, obviously. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure these are random, so we have to take off all of our equipment. Uh, it's not a bad idea to use it on this, but I think we can get better than that in the Hamlet. So I'm just going to... Yep. And now we have a plus five Sphinx cask, so it provides plus 13 intelligence. It's just a little bit good. Equip, and equip, and also apply that to one, even though it is garbage. Uh, did I forget anything? No. So, do we hold on to the feather is another big question. Damn. Uh, I mean, like, probably. We can pick up everything we can. We don't really want the hazard goggles, even though they are very cool. I did forget to use these potions. I don't want to get rid of the Lux Stone. It's so important to, like, something, probably. I, I have literally no followers who can equip items, so I have to hold on to the boots for now. Uh, what I can do is try drinking one of these. Okay. What about one of these? Yeah, I've drank those before. Very good. I don't have any use for these, and I can combine... I got rid of the blessing, so it kind of messed up how I wanted to do that. There we are. We'll drink that. We have one polymorph, which I do think we really need to hold on to. Uh, da, 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 da. This is decrepit. I just can't care enough about it. There we go. Inventory management is like 90% of the gameplay in this game. This is worthless to me now, albeit it is cool. Okay, everything is stacking correctly. I don't need that. I'll take the blindness potion, though. Ah, we do have an extra booze laying around. Is there anything else that I cared about bringing? I don't really think so. I guess I could bring these because I have the extra slot. Positive potions can be used up like that. Honestly, there we go. We got some alchemy skill for that. Worth. Okay, I think that's everything we care about from here. Except, of course, the orb. Which I've not forgotten about, do not worry. This orb is the important one because I'm pretty sure this is the orb that will give us guaranteed access to Shurur. that there, put that there, grab this, yep, alright, we're good, we are good, so now we can head down to the next floor without having to worry about anything, except of course, the fact that I'm now hungover again, <laughs> I will take Flutter off my bar now, I don't really know if I'll ever have a use for invisibility, that's the issue. I don't have magic mapping. That is kind of a bummer. Hmm. I'll just put lightning on there for now. I don't usually use lightning. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not opposed to pulling or something. Is that a goblin? More importantly, there's no reason. Run around. What are you doing? I'm so glad that one of my rats came out to defend me. Revert 
form. That's a useless one. Oh, we no longer need to care about, uh... Yeah, just drink that. Okay, one of my demons is dying. That's fine. I don't know what killed him, but I'm sure it's fine. Alright, back in we go. The Minotaur should spawn, like, right here. So we'll be ready. I wonder if he's affected by paralysis. I mean, he is when it's like a trap, but is he when it's a potion? I have so much money, by the way. Come on, dude. Let's go. I ain't got all day. There's no secret area here, so we will we can just kind of go to the exit whenever. And honestly, if if this somehow goes poorly, which it won't, but if it did somehow go poorly, I could run to the exit, because it's right outside the door. Let's do this. And then this. The Minotaur usually spawns, like, right here. I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to be in front of all my men, so that he starts hitting me instead. So I can block him. You go over there, I don't want you getting mowed instantly. We can check real quick here while we're waiting. Mazes are 88. We're doing pretty good. Hmm. But I don't have a ton of mazes left. I do have one that's in excellent condition, so we should be fine all the way to the Baron. Which we're not too far off from. By the way. Hey, there he is. Yeah, the potion had no effect. wait again just to make sure that they're waiting toss down a heal obviously it would be smarter for me to put my guys to sleep but I'm not really worried about getting my uh, leadership maxed out or anything crazy like that bye so I'm not min maxing to that extent sapphire's cool bonk bonk Pretty sure I don't need that still. I can throw this at one of my men. Comrades! That's it. Oh, you know what? Levitation, also worthless to me. There you go. Alchemy feels like one of the more difficult skills to level up consistently. Oh my god. Uh. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to try and level it by throwing friendly potions as much as I can. Which seems to be working immediately, and that's pretty cool. What was that? Cure ailment again? I am getting so many cure ailment potions. I wonder if that's intentional. I wonder if you find more of those from fountains because you're a goat man. That would be kind of interesting, right? Because then you can cure your hangover without having to rely exclusively on alcohol. Yeah, nah, buddy. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Dumbass. Hate bones. Food store. That would be worthless even if uh, I cared. Pull down the lever. Poison resistance? That's what I have. Oh, a scroll. Contractor, okay. Dash, already have. Visor is melee skill, which is pretty cool, but not really relevant to me. I'm doing pretty well with mine as is. Nice try, Boulder. I ain't that fucking slow, though. Uh, it's just a journal. This is not. Okay, I'm getting a lot of extra healing spells this time. Go figure. Kabonk. Rude ass. Go there. Sleep. 
So our leadership is still doing pretty well overall, even though I'm not trying to focus on it. Uh, I did get a comment recently that was talking about kind of a concern that I think a lot of people have with this game, that you have to spam a lot. What is, what is this? <laughs> you, have, you have to spam a lot to get your levels up, and to an extent it's true. But you don't need to. Um, like, you can get by without doing that sort of thing. If you are focused on playing, you know, kind of how your class and or race is quote-unquote supposed to play. It's a little bit different if you're playing kind of against the grain, so to speak. You know, I'm playing a goat man healer. There's a lot of synergy there. It's pretty good. But a mage goat man in general will occasionally struggle compared to, say, a mage vampire. And that's pretty normal. But it isn't necessarily like a death knell for your run or anything. And if you don't have all your skills maxed out, it's not that big of a deal. It's something that I like to do, you know, get as many skills as I can as high as possible, pretty much purely because that's just how I play the game. Where are you going, bud? How much more damage does lightning do? Oh, well, now I'll never know. Okay, he's in kind of a weird spot. Let me just straight up over here. A oh, pretty significant amount. You know, when I started playing this game, I put my magic button on F, and I kind of regret that now. It sort of makes it more difficult for me in certain situations. Uh, money, please. And you know what? I am a goat man. Tins are not bad. Any chests? Nope. I killed that man for nothing but XP. Much, 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 much. And much. Ow. Fuck you. Alright, so that's it for this floor. Um, kind of a weird one, actually. I'm gonna go to the most distant exit I can, just for the fuck of it. Nice try. So I think on the next floor we will get to another secret area, but it's one that we actually want to skip out on because it leads to the underworld. Everybody go over there. Scroll too far. You go over there. And you go to sleep. was a goblin, and I got kind of excited because the Potato King can spawn in this area. So I was thinking maybe we had him. There's a troll in there. That's cool. Gotta throw this potion at the Minotaur. An act of defiance. But it does not look like we got lucky, at least not yet, on this floor with the, uh, the Potato King. In case anyone has forgotten, Potato King is the goblin that spawns with Shirur, which is the legendary artifact mace, which we desperately want because it provides mana regen. Big, massive, huge, gigantic. It's also blessed, and it's pretty good, though we'll have to repair it up, which we don't currently have any scrolls of repair, but we use them on our other pieces of important gear, so I don't have any regrets towards that. I need to use up some of these uh, cloaks, I think. I'm gonna see if I can just block this guy with torches, because I'm pretty sure I can. Come on. Let's go. If this takes too long, I'll speed up through it, but if you're still here, then I decided it wasn't too bad. Okay, there we go. I have to cure my hangover real fast. My demon is level 27. It's pretty good. You can see my trolls are level like 25, 22, 20. 
If you get trolls in the gnomish mines, they're only like level 5. Uh, but you can get better later on. So it's sometimes worth it to kind of hold out until late game. <laughs> Okay. Everybody relax. Don't need that, drink that. Actually, you know what? Everybody, wait. There we go. Making sure everybody's completely on the same page. Scrolls of Identify are really good early, fall off pretty hard late game, uh, because once you hit 100 appraise, they don't do anything anymore. That guy really said I gotta get the fuck out of here. No. Stop. Illegal. This decrepit. Uh, Mace is, of course, lasting a thousand years. Oh, the bottle book. This is kind of an interesting one. Because it actually kind of uh, tells you how to, like, do alchemy. Which is neat. Like, you can do, like, fast brew. Have fun on a friend. You put medicine in beer to make him run too fast into lava. Oops. Pretty sure what that's talking about is cure ailment plus alcohol in the Alembic equals a speed potion. So if you're if you're one of those people, warm hat. I haven't seen that one. Fifty percent cold resistance. That's interesting. Um, if you're one of those people who doesn't really like using wikis or whatever, you can use that to get kind of a, a jump start. I believe the alchemist brewer class actually starts with that book in their inventory. So. If you, uh, if you actually read it, it can sometimes help you... Oh. It can sometimes help you... Um... Wait, did I already pull some of these? Am I stupid? It can help get you a jump start, is basically what I was trying to say. Uh... Toss that down for a second. What is that helmet? Aegis's headdress. Oh, right, 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 right. That's a cool one. That's an example of the sort of helmet that I think is cool enough that it could be starting equipment for a class. And I would love to see them experiment with that kind of thing. Or at least to have modders kind of experiment with that sort of thing. Though I think that there are some difficulties modding this game. I'm not fully aware of them, but... Oh, god damn it. Come on, there we go. Ah, yes, I forgot about you. Take this. And now stop. Take this. Okay. Do you see how fast I switched to my sleep spell? I knew that was going to happen. Five ten. Oh, a sprig. Nice. A hunger thing. Come back for you, demon. Wait a minute, it was you. for some reason. You don't need to pick fights, bud. It's okay. You're safe now. Wait. Pick up the pickaxe again. No. It 
equip the pickaxe. Perish. Wield. Where'd that demon go? Bang! Stay. I hear you in there. Don't worry, just come on. I hate you. You suck and are a bad person. Okay, so we got some more water. Water is useful in alchemy because you can use it to... Uh, I'll just drink that one. You can use it to duplicate potions. I head over this way. Uh, once your skill is high enough, anyway. Tin. Consume. I have no regrets. charmed creature at a time. Ow. Okay, I didn't try. I tried not to step in that. Bro, nice fucking turf. What the fuck? Sick. Anyway. Sorry. I killed Othello. Bummer. Excellent turban. All allies, 50% inspiration, 75% trap resistance. Okay, that's pretty cool. Again, that would be pretty cool for certain classes and things. The Mesmer could use a buff, send help. Don't really think we're likely to find anything down here that's gonna be better than what we have at this point. Another bicocket, that's cool. But still, I like to look at stuff. So we will not be going through that secret exit. How could this possibly keep happening to me? What have I done to deserve this? Okay. Let's heal up. That was the scroll of identify. And one more heal. In we get. Over there. And then tell everyone to wait. So no Minotaur, which is nice. Very relaxing. Really take our time. Hey! That's a neat hat. And it sucks. Bummer. I mean, it, the effect is cool, but it was cursed. about to say, I keep having instances where this chest in this particular room is a mimic, but it was not this time. Okay, detect food. Um, very cool. There's the food, guys. Anyway. Nope. I do not want to get hit by that. Lockpick, don't care. Bless my equipment. What did it bless? My shitty mace? Oh, it blessed everything. Right. Nice. So that's plus six on that. Plus one on that. Plus three on that. That's pretty good. Nice, nice. Uh, and it was a water bottle. <laughs> oh, hold up. Oh, that's Kali. I thought it was the other one. Did you see that lady come around the corner? Fucking absolutely pre-firing? Damn, dude. Kali got hands. Kali unironically got hands. But she's dead now. So the lady that I thought that that was, 
Oh, damn, they gave her a new bonus. That's pretty good. Okay, so these boots are pretty awesome. But we have levitating boots. I guess we'll hold on to this, right? Uh, the lady I thought it was, I think, is called Anansi or something like that. Which, again, is a, char is a character from like, African folklore, I think. So probably I'm thinking of the wrong name. But it's a lady that has Shurur. She's very rare. So it's kind of a bummer that that was not her, because we could have gotten sure right there. Just gonna start drinking this. I ain't afraid anymore. Drink that, drink that. Uh, I, I really can't bring myself to drink that, because it's like... Super healing potions are so powerful. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Was that poison? Okay. Oh man, he dropped a lot of booze. Awesome. So at a certain point in pretty much any Goatman playthrough, you're going to reach the stage where you just have a lot of booze. Go ahead and the other potions to use? I do. This is bullying. Okay. Uh, once you've reached that stage... It gets a lot easier to play as the goat man if you haven't been doing any alchemy and stuff. Or if you haven't been doing any spell casting, if you don't have cure ailment, all that kind of stuff. Honestly, I'm sort of surprised that the mirror. I guess maybe because it was cursed, or because he wasn't actively defending. Because I figured that it would reflect my sleep spell back at me, and it would be a real lamal. But instead, there was there was no joy. There was no laughing. There was only success. You know what would be a cool spell for them to add to this game? is a spell that blesses your equipment, but it can only do it once, right? So you can bless each piece of your equipment if you want, one time. Would also be cool if you could curse equipment just to throw that at your friends. Oh, no! Eh. Okay, steel mace. It's six. It's better than anything else I've got. That is pretty cool. This one is lasting 8,000 years somehow, which I'm not a huge fan of, but what are you going to do? Alright, that's it for this floor, though. Except, of course, picking up the very important food. It's a fish, never mind. Look at the crystal spear. I wanted to look at the crystal spear. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. It's pretty good. Of course, I'm not a spear boy, so it's... Completely irrelevant to me. <laughs> 